God wants us to protect the kind of information we let slip into our head throughout the day. For example, from going to gym, and sometimes, you know, I mean, you see all the, uh, all the ladies in the gym, you know, are not wearing baggy clothes. Everybody wears as tight as possible. You're like, geez, prophetically, a lot of people wear prophetically too. Like, that's, that's how I want to look in 10 years. <laughs> Put it on, you're like, man, it's gonna break. It's gonna snap. But the point is this, is that people who go to gym, and we have a lot of men who do go to gym, you must understand when you're working out and you see somebody who comes in, or maybe sometimes even uh, some girls in church who would walk in and you're like, whoa, what is that happening? When you look second time, what happens is that image goes straight into your head subconscious. At first, nothing might happen. But then you're tempted with another image a little bit later from a movie. There was maybe some scene that you should have not watched in the first place the movie or maybe something that instead of turning your head you're like well i just want to see what happens and you saw what happens boom another thought went into your subconscious and then you got those little lyrics of the music that oh my, it's, it's about the beat i know it has all of this sexual explicit information but it's all about the beat trust me i'm just a musician i know about music and this is a good music the fact that it has everything about sexual oh it's fine you don't realize you have the stuff going into your subconscious in the moment of temptation guess what satan will use to cook up lust in your head every information you permit it to come there satan cannot use playboy magazines you didn't watch satan cannot use nude pictures you didn't open he can only use the things you looked at to cook up something in your head where your palms begin to sweat, you begin to masturbate, you begin to do sinful things and you're like, man, feel guilty again. I should have not done it. Where does it all start with? It starts with this. When a person walks throughout the day and instead of saying, no, this doesn't belong in my head, you're cutting away from Satan having material to cook during your temptation. And during your temptation, he throws things, but there's nothing to throw. Why? Because not that you're perfect, not that you never saw anything bad, but it's just when something would come up, you would, you would click away. You would look away. You would say, no, I'm not going to look at that. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to watch the movie because before watching a movie, you have to go on Google, type the movie and type parental guide. And it will tell you every questionable scene it has, the cuss words it has. You don't go into a movie theater watching a movie and, well, if it's something bad, I'll turn away. Really? You have to filter that because when you let those things go into your head you're giving satan who hates you with his guts ingredients to cook a poison to kill you with and then you come oh please pray for me i just get flooded with lustful thoughts lustful thoughts you pick up during the day without filtering your head you have to protect your head by watching it's the minor things that when you protect it and temptation comes in and there's nothing to stir you unless because there is nothing there. Protect your head. For girls, you have to protect your head also from novels. Because gross pornography is not what they watch. It's what they read. The Fifty Shades of Stupid, what, what, uh, 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 Fifty Shades of Grey, oh yeah, Fifty Shades of Grey, they came out. You know they discovered that women watch pornography only 20 percent you know there's 20 percent of women that watch pornography as compared to men it's very high and they've created and they found a secret for pornography for women and the 50 shades of gray is just the beginning it's a women's pornography that's what it is what pornography does to the mind of men erotic material does to the heart of a woman and men or women who will say, well, watching pornography is nothing wrong. I'm not doing anything bad. You know, um, if I masturbate, there's nothing wrong. I'm not harming anybody. I'm satisfying my own needs. People sometimes say that. Or if I read that, it won't do me any damage. Or sometimes people would watch uh, Bachelor, a famous show, Bachelor. Why would you want to watch Bachelor? You have one guy dating 13 girls at the same time. That's polygamy. And you're watching, you're like, oh, this is so cute. What is cute? A guy dating 13 girls at the same time? That's insane. Now, please understand, I know there's probably awesome guys over there, but please understand, if you watch that, like that, don't be surprised if the guy who dates you also dates 20 other people. 
The only thing you're lacking is a video camera. And somehow it is wrong when a guy treats you like that. But it is not wrong for you to treat yourself like that by filling yourself with those examples. Because if he does that, it is wrong. But the fact that I fill myself with that, completely accepted. It's because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful. So this is what it means. They didn't develop their spirit by coming under influence of the Holy Spirit. They didn't connect with God. This is what happened. The second thing, but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. What does it mean? When a person didn't develop their spirit, their heart, their mind went out of control. Anyone who is ruled by their mind will be ruined by their mind. Anyone who is ruled by their mind instead of their spirit soon will be ruined by their mind. Your mind is not going to help you. It will betray you, trick you and embarrass you. Therefore make it your servant and in order for your mind to be your servant you have to develop your spirit to be your master. Don't do this but think about doing this. Go drink toilet water. Treat your body to the same degree you treat your soul. How would you feel? You'll get sick. That's exactly how your soul is right now. Sick. The only bad part is a lot of people don't care about their soul and they're like animals literally forgive me for this phrase like animals allow whatever comes in mystery they will never in their wildest dreams will treat their body to that degree that they will allow their soul to be treated watch whatever comes into it and you will see you'll be victorious if you don't watch it the enemy will use that to trick you and to play games against you and to defeat you